All right, grade eights, uh, welcome to another lovely math lesson. Uh, this evening you'll be watching a video on dividing integers using models. Um, so let's take a look, let's get started. Here's our first question. Um, negative 12 divided by positive four. Now, some of you might know the answer already, um, that's great. What we're gonna see is if you can actually model it, because it's one thing to know it, it's another thing to be able to, to model it, and that's what we expect from a grade eight student. So uh, let's take a look at this question. It's actually pretty easy to model on a using a number line. I like this system. So just like uh, multiplying uh, integers using a model line, we are going to always start at, at zero. So I have my lovely uh, mini-me here. This is going to be our, uh, our model today. So uh, our mini-me here is going to show you how to use this number line. So uh, the mini-me is going to start at zero in a neutral position. The nose is facing forward. It hasn't picked a way to move yet. So let's look at this question. Uh, so when you divide using a number line, the first number actually tells us where we're going to end up on a number line. So in this case, the first number is a negative 12. So that means we want to end up right here where that blue X is. That's where we're going to end up. We're going to start at zero. We're going to end there. The second number plays uh, an important role. Uh, first off, we have to look at this symbol here. And we have to look, is the sign a positive or negative? In this case, it's positive. So what that tells me is my little mini me is going to walk all the way to number 12. And since it's positive, he's going to walk going forward. Okay. If by chance it was a negative number, he would then walk uh, moonwalk backwards right and he would be going doo, 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 just like that you make that sound and, and uh, yeah like this okay you get the idea so anyways let's start at zero so the first thing is we're gonna end up at uh, negative 12 oh here's the moonwalk anyways back to this question at hand uh, Negative 12 is where we're going to get to. It's marked by the blue X. How are we getting there? Well, it's a positive sign, so that means the mini-me is going to walk forward to it. And we are going to take steps that are four big each time. So I'm going to hop by four. One, two, three. I end up here and I'm pointing that way. Okay. So let's take a look at this again. Um, my little blue marker will tell me how many steps I made. I went from here to there. To there ending up right there does that make sense so our answer essentially is however many steps we took so how many steps did we take one two three so my answer becomes three now here's the part you got to wrap your head around this is the difficult part look at my mini me and which way is my nose pointing it's pointing towards the negative end of the number line so that means my answer is going to be negative let's take a look right here so once again let's review the first number tells me where we want to end up on the number line we represented that with the blue x the second number tells me whether i'm walking forward or moonwalking in this case it was a positive number so we walked forward the number itself tells me how big our steps are, so we went by four each time on the number line. My answer then is how many jumps did it take us? One, two, three. And which way is my nose, nose facing and it's pointing that way? And that's towards the negative side. So let's try another one. Using the same numbers, but this time we're gonna change up the signs. Let's look at this. Now, uh, I'm gonna ask you at home to pause it I'm gonna ask you if you're at home right now watching the video, pause it and see if you can actually do this on your own without me uh, helping. So if you go ahead and pause it, I'm gonna take my mini me back. I'm gonna get rid of that. This one here. Beautiful. So if you're at home, pause it, try and answer this, and then I'll go through the question with you. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did. Here's my mini me. He's at zero, he's at neutral position, nose is facing. No direction right now. So let's take a look at this. What do we know about this question? Well, our first number, once again, tells us 
where we want to end up on the number line. So I take my blue marker and, hey, where do I want to end up? I want to end up at negative 12. I want to end up right there. Okay, easy enough. Now the second number, hmm, this time the, the sign changed. So this tells me, um, I'm going to start, it's a negative sign, so instead of walking forward, this time I am going to moonwalk. You get the idea, right? So I'm going to face this way because I'm moonwalking. Um, the second number tells me how big our steps are. So I'm going to go four big each time as I moonwalk and I end up here. So I'll use my blue marker to go one, two, three, four, end up right there. One, two, three, four, end up there. And my final jump is right here. Now, my answer, what is it? Well, how many jumps did we take? In this case, one, two, three jumps. Which way is my nose facing? Well, if you look, I go like this. My nose right here is facing towards the positive sign. That means my answer is positive three. Beautiful. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully that helps you out, grade eight, with how to multiply. Uh, or sorry, how to divide integers using a model. Let's try one last example, shall we? And I'm going to put it here on the board. Uh, here we go. Positive 12 divided by negative 4. I'm going to ask you to pause it at home and uh, attempt this on a number line that you can draw beside you. Move, uh, uh, if you got a Lego man or anything like that, if you got something you can move uh, that has kind of a nose on it or anything like that, it might help you out. So. Uh, take a, take a shot at it and see how how it goes. All right, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to go through this question with you. Here we go. My mini me, neutral position, starting at zero. Now this case, it says positive 12. So now where I want to end up on my number line is positive 12. So now I got to figure out where positive 12 is. I'll put a little X there. That's where I want to end up. Now. The second number tells me, am I walking forward or am I doing the moonwalk? In this case, it's a negative sign, so I will be getting to this blue X using my moonwalk. All right? Okay, well, I know I'm moonwalking. My next question is, how big are my steps? In this case, it's four, so I'm going to be moonwalking four steps each time until I hit or positive 12. So let's go. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to jump from there to there. To there. One, two, three, four. To there. And I end up right here. Boom. So my answer. Well, let's look at our little cheat sheet here. Whoops. I erase that. That doesn't work for us. All right. Here, let's do this. Uh, how many jumps did we take? One, two, three jumps. So I know my answer is going to be three. And which way is my nose facing? In this case, my nose is facing towards the negative side. So my answer for positive 12 divided by negative four is equal to negative three. Hopefully that helped you out grade eight. Uh, I'm going to give you one question. I want you to answer the following question for me. Let's do this one. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is equal to what? Uh, try it at home and comment under the video what you think your answer is. Have a great night. Hopefully this helped. I will see you tomorrow at class. Be prepared to uh, work at your table groups. Have a good night.